Hey guys, how's it going? And welcome back to another Iron Man progress video. This is episode number 86. For the episode ahead, there are a few things that I would like to try and knock out before the end of the video. The first one being the Ring of Endurance from the Hallowed Sepulchre. I've done about 150 um, grand chest loot so far. It's got a drop rate of 1 in 200, so I'm getting quite close to the drop rate um, but even if I go a bit dry it's really good XP um, so I'd like to try and get that one this episode otherwise I've set myself the goal of getting 10 total levels overall uh, to take me up to 2250 total level for the episode um, and I would just spread that across the skills that I've uh, not reached 99 in um, other than that may do some Slayer try and pick up an Aviancy task uh, we shall see hope you guys enjoy the video Got another Jad task coming in, 16 KC. Let's trade in that cape and see if we can get the pet. Ah, not this time, too bad. Back to back Jad task, always very nice. And we're gonna trade in the cape, of course, to see if we can get the pet. Nope. Coming in with a fishing level, 96, three left to go until 99. Bit of a milestone coming in here, 30 million farming XP, um, which I never really thought I would hit on this account to be honest, but I did mention a few episodes ago that I was gonna be getting back into farming, uh, doing my tree runs, and basically just going for the pet, which I have been doing. Um, yeah, I've got back into doing contracts as well to try and get um, seeds for tree runs as well as fruit tree runs. I feel like the fruit tree ones are a lot easier to get, so I've been doing those daily and have also thrown in uh, seaweed spores again, uh, belladonna, mushrooms and cactus because those will have a pretty good chance of getting the pet. Um, yeah, so we shall see um, how long I'm motivated to do this for. Um, the group pet is one of my favourites, so it would be really nice to get, but um, it's pretty rare. But I'm doing everything I can. Um, and it's not a huge effort to do these uh, these farming runs every so often. Coming in with 96 agility at the Hallowed Sepulchre, getting pretty close to the drop rate of the ring now, which is 200 chests. I think I've done 196. Another Jad task down and another cape to trade in for a chance at the pet. Not this time. And that is another Jad down. Time to trade in another cape. Done quite a few this episode already. Can we get lucky? Nope. This is gonna be my 200th grand chest at the Hallowed Sepulchre, which uh, is the drop rate for the ring. So haven't got it in the first 200, unfortunately. Um, yeah, hoping I don't go too dry. I figured out that um, if I go double the drop rate, i.e. 400 chests, it would get me up to 98 agility. So yeah, hoping to get it soon. Oh shit, I got the uh, KBD heads. It's just an elite clue that I got and I had to come and kill it. That's pretty cool. All right, what can we get from this casket? Ooh, master clue, very nice. All right, what can we get? Uh, not much, some nice wines, I guess. Nada teleport's not really useful. 52 masters done now. What can I say? I enjoy these jab tasks. Can we get lucky with the pet? I suspect not. I suspect right. Hey, there we go, the Ring of Endurance on my 220th Grand Hallowed Coffin, so only very slightly over the drop rate. Very pleased to be picking this up. Um, yeah, let's go and uh, fill it up. Okay, so I'm gonna put in 150 four-dose stamina potions, which is gonna be 600 charges overall. And uh, this ring has two uses. Um, basically, when you drink a dose of stamina potion, once you have this equipped and it's charged up, uh, it uses one charge and you get 40% of your run energy restored and the duration of the stamina potion effect is doubled. So basically, you know, you drink one dose, you get double the effect because you've already poured the other half into the ring essentially. But the other interesting um, effect, which is a passive reduction on run energy drain by 15%, which I think is going to be the useful bit. Um, so when I'm doing like blood rune crafting, not going to run out of energy. Um, and it will save me a little bit of uh, stamina potion usage at Blast Fitness as well. Killed a lot of Jad this episode so far, that is my 21st. And of course, going to be handing in the cape for another chance at the pet. Nope, not this time. 
Um, yeah, as you can see, I have lost quite a lot of Slayer points. I have been skipping most tasks um, other than really quick five minute ones or Jad tasks. I just really want to get Armadil done and dusted. Um, that's all I'm really doing Slayer for at the moment. Got myself a Vorkath boss task and picked up an Elite Clue. What can we get? Yeah, pretty standard. Ah, finally, there we go. 230 Aviancies. Uh, I've got to catch some black chins, and I think this will take me above 1000 KC, which is pretty nice. After going so dry at Zami, I really hoped that I wouldn't see this KC at another one of the God Wars bosses, but that is 1000 KC at Armadil. Um, yeah, creeping up on three times the drop rate for the helm. Um, yeah, not really too much to say. Um, it's definitely not as fast getting the kills here as it is at uh, Zami because there's obviously the time spent getting the chins. So. Yeah, it's taken me a while to get up to this KC, but fingers crossed the helm will come sooner rather than later. Oh no, I saw the drop and for a second I really thought that was it. I saw the armadillo, huh. um, but it's an ilt, not an elm. Um, that is my fourth armadillo hilt in just over a thousand KC. Um, yeah, strange luck to be getting four of those um, for a not very useful item on an Iron Man, but there we go. All right, well, that is another Armadil task done. Just uh, two left to go, which I'll get off these minions and just the hilt to show for it, unfortunately. Finishing on 1038 KC. That is 91 rune crafting. I was pretty close to the level. I wanted to come and test out the ring. It is really good. I'm just not running out of run energy at all. Um, in the past, when I was on my way to the altar, I'd probably run out of energy most times. So yeah, nice little uh, quality of life there. I was wondering when I might see one of these. That is my second bottomless compost bucket. Um, yeah, definitely would have expected a few more by this KC, but I guess once I got the first one, wasn't too bothered. Uh, yeah, up to 32 million farming XP now. Thieving level coming in, that is level 95. I'm back at Pyramid Plunder. Um, it's the best XP I can get at the moment, basically. And if I got a third scepter, that'd be kind of nice because then I could put that in a stash unit and save myself some bank spaces. Um, but yeah, I enjoy this method. It's pretty chill, to be honest. Konar gave me a task of Bloodvelds in this new spot that's unlocked after a taste of hope. And I've uh, had eight brimstone keys, which is pretty nutty. Um, yeah, I've just done it for the 100th task for the extra uh, Slayer points because I was running very low. I've basically been skipping everything um, just to try and get uh, Aviancy tasks. Let's open this chest and see what we can get. It's been a while. Gold ore is nice. Diamonds, not too bad. That is a hefty amount of sharks. Diamonds, dragon arrow tips, very nice. Some ore, some dark tips, and some more ore. Would you look at that? That is another Jad task down. That is my 22nd overall. Can we get the pet? Of course not. Hey, there we go. That is my third scepter on the account now, which is pretty nice. So I'll probably end up putting this in the stash unit and saving myself a few bank spaces. That is cool to see. Just hit 96 thieving, managed to uh, accidentally click through the level up box. Um, but yeah, three left to go until 99. That is going to be the next 99 on the account, I think. Um, I'll probably do most of it here at Pyramid Plunder, maybe a little bit at Master Farmers once they add seaweed spores to the drop table, because I'd like to get some of those stacked up for my... Uh, my pet runs um, but yeah I don't really know what I'll do with any extra scepters that I happen to get probably just keep them in the bank for the bank value they're worth quite a bit now I think about five mil came to Sarah on an absolute whim and picking up a Sarah Domen's light that is my second one I don't think they have any use after you consume one so uh, yeah that's just one for the bank but nice to see a drop that trip went really well. That was 23 kills overall, which um, I wasn't particularly expecting. I did get quite lucky on uh, supply drops. So still got lots of prayer, as you can see, but eventually ran out of staminas and ranging potions. Um, I'm gonna come back. This is actually really fun. I've not done an awful lot of Sarah, as you can see from my KC, but um, yeah, it would be nice to get the hilt and the ACB at some point. So uh, yeah, probably do a little bit more this episode and some more next episode as well, I guess. 200 KC at Sarah, which is a nice little milestone. Bearing in mind my uh, pretty bad luck at finishing Armadil and Zami, it would be nice to get the uh, drops here a little bit under drop rate or not too far over, but uh, we shall see. Not too confident in my God Wars luck, to be honest. And that is going to be it for today's episode, guys. This one has taken a lot longer to get out than I would have liked. Um, I've just been really busy. 
Um, so thank you for your patience and I hope you have enjoyed watching. It's really nice to pick up the Ring of Endurance. I've been going for that for a while um, and I didn't quite make my goal that I set out at the beginning of the episode to reach uh, 2250 total level but as I said next episode certainly will be going for 99 thieving and we'll probably pick up a few more total levels along the way. Alongside that I'm going to be heading back to God Wars of course. We'll be doing some more Sarah God Wars but we'll definitely try and pick up an Aviancy task because I really, really do want to try and get that helm. Something that I have been quite excited by is the announcement of the Trailblazer League which is the new league I'm assuming that's going to be coming out sometime before the end of the year. I really enjoyed the Twisted League last time out so I'm definitely going to be competing in the new one. Um, so yeah, look out for videos on that whenever it is released. I'm really looking forward to it and I can't wait to get some more details on like rewards and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, if you enjoyed this episode, feel free to drop a like guys. And if you want to stay up to date with all the latest videos in the series, uh, feel free to subscribe as well. Um, hope to see you in the next video and until then, take care.